Robin Hood Radio presents the commentary of Don Morrison. Don is a former editor at Time Magazine. He's an author, lecturer, and member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. Over dinner the other night, I looked into my wife's eyes and told her how much I depreciate her. She frowned. So, I explained the concept of depreciation. Since she's an asset to me, the IRS evidently allows the deduction from my taxable income each year of a sum prorated over her useful life. Not sure how many more years she's got, but the tax code offers several options for figuring this, depending on asset class, time and service, and your appetite for risk. I learned all this from the recent news about our president's taxes. He uses complex but apparently legal gimmicks to reduce his bill to zero, or in a good year, $750. The president is so clever, he even got the IRS to give him a $76 million refund. I could use one of those. So, I poured through the New York Times report on his tax techniques and spotted a few I could use myself, like carry forwards. Basically, if you suffer a big enough loss on a business, a stock trade, the Super Bowl, you can subtract it not only from this year's taxable income, you can also carry it forward to infinity and beyond. This is the main reason the president paid no income tax at all for 10 out of 15 recent years. In addition, there are various uh, expense deductions available. The president gave millions to his kids and deducted it from his income as consulting fees. So I'm going to reclassify my wife and kids as consultants for their advice on my wardrobe and grooming habits. Hey, if the president can deduct $72,000 for his haircuts, why can't I? But the big bonus is depreciation. It comes in many flavors, straight line, accelerated, double declining balance, and you can depreciate almost anything. Buildings, sports cars, wives, even if they actually increase in value. What a wonderful country this is. There's one problem. My wife. She looked back into my eyes and said, If I want to break the law, that's fine. But, she added, the IRS pays rewards to people, including spouses, who turn in tax cheats. She'd miss me. So much for my dreams of wealth creation. But maybe I could tip off the IRS about what the president has been up to. Now that would be the road to fiscal paradise. I'm Don Morrison. Don Morrison is an author and editor. He's taught at universities in the United States, Europe, and Asia. He's the European editor of the British magazine Port and a member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. He lives in Paris, Miami, and in Berkshire County.